He's found something a little special at that end of that interesting rally. Two net cords are missing. Well, he didn't, and it looked as though he'd paid the price. But Federer unable to convert at the net. And it's a breaker serve for Raonic. Many felt that this had the potential to be an upset, and it's certainly starting to feel that way. Of course, it was more accident than design, but actually, by allowing Ferrer to win his service games, set points. Just well, over half an hour, and down. he's halfway there to securing the biggest victory Six of his career. Ranich taking it six games to four. Something a little special. And is it going to be a special night for Ranich? In that first set. Oh, yes. Well, he was alert, he was aware, but more importantly, he was good enough to direct that return up. Oh, he's done it again. Remarkable. What a phenomenal start to this second set Ranich is making. Federer finds a well-placed first serve. Oh, it gets better. Have you ever seen a harder hit back and return? It's been one of the many threads in this great story, hasn't it? His first serve under pressure. Not this time, Federer hangs on, pushed to the extremities of his skill. Seven and a half minute game. Federer dancing to round, it's just tune, it wasn't a bad return, hit to a length. The need to defend his serve with that's a delightful volley, just using the pace of his opponent. Leon Tiriak, who's certainly created a lot of publicity with these blue plate weights this week in Madrid. so hard to get in tight to that net to stop that ball from dropping to make it a difficult one. This guy's a bit of a patriot as well. He'll be there, you feel. Few laces, not so since. He doesn't miss opportunities like that. And it, it's almost impossible to stop. Oh, yes! Suddenly he's inspired again. But it might just be the first time that he's used a lob today. Try to get in quickly, but Ranic, superior off that forehand wing, it is a devastating shot. Better electing to stay back. 
Obviously felt as though it overplayed the serve. It's dropped in. That is a massive, massive hold. It gives him a lifeline here. 6 5. Orthodox, but Federer was up to the challenge. He's hit a couple of lines in the last uh, three points. It's Federer's point in the end. A quality exchange between these two. Well, he went to the backhand. Federer was up to the task once again. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe that? How does he save this set? to a thoroughly enthralling second set. And Federer there showing why many feel he's the greatest player of all time. He levels it up, seven games to five. Times in that second set. Oh, and he is joining the party with some extraordinary shots. While the Backhand half volley that hit the baseline when he was serving at five all. That is exquisite. In terms of difficulty, that's uh, right up. against that. But you're going to have to do a little more than that. Well, Raonic there showing us what a complete player he is. What an exchange, and what a time to produce some of your best. Federer fends it off again. Too good, far too good. To yet. Anything less than perfection there. And he, he has now. He took a guess, he took a gamble, and it's paid off. doing his best to uh, avert the scoreline that he suffered, as you say, in that Davis Cup. How well that's worked for him this evening, the drop shot. And once again, he was able to play his tennis on the baseline. Surgically done. It's 
gone wide. Ranic is back in it. It's got the mini break back. Well, it's a chance that goes, but I think I'd like to focus more on the fact that Federer has found a way to get that ball back into play, given... And that's it. A stunning return seals the win for Federer. What a fantastic evening inside this magic box here in Madrid. Ranic so close, he could taste...